You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. She belongs to the streets. Run! Go! This is the chopper! Bitch, what the fuck? What the fuck? Hey, yo, hey, niggas get shot every day, B. You be all right, nigga. What's up, y'all? It's Cali West. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'm feeling this shit. So check it. There's three things that women do not want you to know. We're just gonna kick in and go right to it. Secret number three. She likes to get trains ran on her. No, 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 no. I do something. Yes, I said it. These women like to get passed around and get trained up. I like being ran. Yes, I like gang bangs. I like being manhandled by several different men at once. If you want to call it being ran, you can call whatever the fuck you want. I'm sexually liberated <laughs> and I'm a goddess and I deserve to have hands all over my body. <laughs> I deserve to be worshiped. Like, why not? I deserve that attention. Now, I'm not saying that all women like this. But enough of them do like it enough to have this conversation. Now, you might bump into that one lady and she might act like a prude. She might not want to do certain things with you in the bedroom. But just know that there are guys that she might feel that is better than you on social status, or maybe even on physical status. And yes, she will give her body willingly to that man. Even to the point that she's even willing to sleep with that man's friends as well. Now, it could be maybe because the guy decides that he's just gonna use it as a good time girl and share it with her boys. Or it could be because the girl has just dated both of them or wants us to hook up with them. Main times, you know, these girls that go to see a dude and they end up sleeping with the whole crew. And that's the thing that a lot of women don't tell you about, is that they might tell you that they never have this happen to them, but best believe this more than likely happened to a female that you're dating. She might even be a girlfriend or your wife. You just never ever know. I'm really excited to be here with you guys. What do you mean by that? What? Okay. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, yeah, we finna have a good time for real. You're not finna have a good time when I'm here. Uh, bro, you got a ghost or something, bro? Anyways, you guys wanna get this started? That nigga stroke no, ain't quick. <laughs> Hold on, bro. Open that closet, bro. I'm oh, ain't Casper in this month. Like, come on. Bro, bro, bring bro, why are you in here again, bro? bro? You always you doing this. Girl here, bro, it don't matter, bro. You always spying on me, bro. Bro, get up out of here, bro. Then, there's secret number two. And secret number two is women don't tell you about how they slept with their friend's man. And yes, that includes sisters, even mothers. Nasty bitch. Yeah, I said it, even mothers. There have been times that mothers have slept with the daughter's boyfriend. There have been times that the daughter slept with the mother's boyfriend. And before y'all get into y'all fee-fees and all, just know that in my age group, I'm old enough to legally date someone's daughter and old enough to still, you know, 
basically hook up with her mama too. My nigga. <laughs> Not saying that I don't wanna do that, but just know that the age range these uh, young mothers be having their kids. By the time the kid is legal age, the mother is only like 40 years old. Some of them all 36 because they had them at 60 years old or whatever type deal. So, yeah. And you know this, man. Now, the final thing that women don't want you to know is that they were involved in some type of sex work throughout their life. Whether it was them being a bartender or a, you know, wait or a waitress in a strip club or a barista. Well, maybe not a barista, so to speak, but even that could kind of fall into it because they're getting tips too. For anyone who worked in a bar, worked in a strip club, and that's not necessarily just being a dancer, like I said, just like a waitress or a bartender or a barmaid at a strip club, that's still typically sex work because that's we there are guys who are attracted to them, giving them tips, and there are guys even propositioning them with money all the time. I'd buy that for a dollar. He ain't lying. Ah, uh, let see. What else falls into that? Porn stars, you know, they done been porn stars. Some of them were escorts. Some of them were outright prostitutes. But you would never know this because women go on a spectrum. Shout out to Coach Greg Adams. He mentions that a lot. That that one woman that you think is a goody good two shoes and won't do anything crazy. What you never know is that they do all types of sex work, you know, to make money. I am shocked. Shocked. Well, not that shocked. One time I dated a young lady when I was going in uh, college and she happened to live in the same building with me. And this girl, you would have thought that she was like the most sweetest angel in the world. But go figure, fast forward to 10, 15 years later, she admitted to me that she used to work in a go-go club. Damn! I'm probably giving my age by saying go-go club, because that was like, what was it? it? Had to be like the 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s. But she was basically like a go-go dancer, which is basically a sex worker because, you know, guys are, you know, giving you tips based on how you look and how you dancing and stuff. First damn word come out your mouth, I got money. So, then the same chick, of course, became a flight attendant. And just know that when they be taking trips, you know, they be going and, you know, doing escorting and moonlighting as well. About the buck, no figure it, about the buck. So you gotta watch out with them flight attendants. Ooh, but yo, those are three things that women don't want you to know about their life. So fellas, you guys gotta do a lot of probing, ask a little questions. And don't be so quick to talk. Just let them talk. Eventually they'll tell themselves and let you know. Shit, now I'm thinking about it. I think I was dealing with a chick and she was in a porno. And I didn't know that until like four years later. Thank Lord, you know what I'm saying? I ain't take it seriously, we ain't have no babies. But that would have been asked out.